The Egyptian goddess Isis, also known as the one who is all, is depicted as a beautiful woman with either the vulture headdress, a headdress in the shape of a throne, or a headdress with disc and horns. The throne symbol is also the hieroglyph for her name. Like most Egyptian gods and goddesses, she is also illustrated with an unk in her hand. She is the goddess of marriage, wisdom and health, and is often correlated with fertility, motherhood, women, children, magic and witchcraft, medicine, justice, strength, alchemy, agriculture and life. Isis is the symbol of a woman and is also seen as a triple goddess of birth, life and death. Lunar Wisdom from YouTube says, Emperor Constantine decreed that all pagan temples were closed, but the temple of Isis at Philae managed to survive until the 6th century. Isis was part of a group of nine deities from Egyptian mythology. This group was called the Enid of Heliopolis. The group consists of Atum, Shu, Tefnut, Nut, Geb, Osiris, Seth, and Nephthys, and Iris. She is the sister and wife of Osiris, the daughter of Geb, the god of the earth, and Nut, the goddess of the sky, and she is the mother of Horus, the god of the sky and kingship. The brother and husband of Isis, Osiris, was betrayed by their brother Seth. Isis plays a very important part in this story. Osiris and Isis were married and Osiris became the pharaoh of Egypt. The two ruled greatly and were very powerful together. Isis's rule of life and Osiris's of death complemented each other. Their brother Seth became jealous and plotted against Osiris. He decided to have a gathering where all their friends and family would be invited. During the party, guests were invited to climb into a box that Seth had made. He said that, Whoever fit into the box perfectly could keep it. When it was Osiris's turn, Seth quickly sealed the lid over his brother and threw the box into the Nile. Isis set out to find her husband. After many years, she found the box at the edge of the Nile and brought him to Egypt to hide. While Seth was out hunting, he saw the box and became mad, tearing the box into many pieces along with Osiris's body, which was then distributed all over Egypt. Despite Isis' Isis's grief, she set out yet again to search for Osiris. After finding all the pieces, Isis attempted to bring him back to life, but her magic was not strong enough. Osiris then became the god of the underworld.